Hi Virgo and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be channeling messages focusing on no contact X, what was left unsaid or unspoken by them. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Taro and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike. Thank you so much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Continue to like, share and and subscribe so that I know that you like these readings and I can continue to bring them for you. So Virgo, today I'm going to take a look at this no contact X. What did this person uh, not say? What did they leave uh, unspoken, unsaid? And we'll start with this deck right here. I have one, two, three, four, five decks. So hang on so you could get a nice idea of the thorough messages that I'm going to give you. Okay, I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible. So they have here biting through. Okay, and they also have here companionship. This person may not have shared with you that there was a mutual respect between them and you. They felt that there was a strong bond here between the both of you when you were dating or when you were seeing each other or whatever connection that you uh, may have had with this ex. Um, I feel here that there were shared goals. There was a sense of nurturing here. We do see feminine energy twice, and that is all about uh, intuition, about the ability to feel vulnerable, feel secure, feel nurtured, okay? So I feel here that that they, they did feel that, okay, uh, with you, Virgo. I feel here that your presence in their life was a feeling of not only companionship, of friendship. So whatever this connection may have been, at the root of it, they felt that they had like a ride and die type of person, okay? Were a person that at least shared their vision or their goal or their ability here to connect on, on a level that was different perhaps than other connections that they had. I feel here that this person... Um, what they didn't discuss or talk about uh, with you was the fact that at times it felt like a challenge, okay, because they have here biting through. There were at times where things may have felt chaotic or may have been chaotic. And when I mean chaotic, I mean like maybe there were arguments, there were triggers, there were perhaps some self sabotaging thoughts fears that even though may have been present or popped up here and there was this type of energy that they kind of had to be strong or tap into a sense of strength is what I'm feeling here. It's like they they really they didn't feel they didn't feel quite right when things weren't on an even steady keel. When things were not balanced, they felt imbalanced. Okay, where they felt a sense of um disharmony. And that would bother them because they really liked when things were in order or in that high vibrational energy. Somehow it's like whatever affected you, Virgo, just affected them energetically, you know? And that's how it's coming across to me. Like two people that are um, close on an energetic level and whatever is that like affecting one person would affect the other, like the other one would feel. Let's take a look here at what other things may have been left unspoken by your ex. What did I just say? Confirmation, harmony. This person loved the fact when things were at a balance. Confirmation. This is exactly what I said. Look at this here. Another confirmation. The, these two people are at equal arm's length and they're intertwined. There's a sense of harmony and energy here. 
that this person may not have spoken about. There was a sense here that they were not only connected through a companionship or a friendship, but they were also connected here. And they may not have said this to you. Um, you may have picked it up, but you know, again, this may have been uh, unspoken here. They did feel a sense of intuition. This is at the third eye chakra and they felt it in their heart. So whatever this connection, and it's very interesting because that's exactly, it's those two areas. Remember that I was talking about the yin quality, yin quality or yin energy or feminine energy, that nurturing, that inner knowing. Yeah, they had some sense of inner knowing here that they may not have discussed or shared. They loved it when things were harmonious and they would feel, this person was intuitive, this person would feel or felt when things were okay and when they weren't okay. There was just some sense of um, inner confidence. And I think that because they had this sense of inner confidence, is why um, I'm feeling here that their inner confidence was attached. Yeah, it's like, that's how they could feel like when something was a little off. You know what I mean? Because their vibration, because of their intuition. Yeah, this person was intuitive. Um, they may not have said it. They may, ha they may not have voiced it as I'm voicing it right now. But um, this person may also have been an empath here, a person who's able to connect with the energy um, when they walk into a room or feeling very uncomfortable with a, a lot of people around because they're able to pick up uh, the energy in the room and other people as well. And sometimes like that bothers a person uh, or empaths because it's just so much energy. Um, this person may have been very... Uh, sensitive in that regard as well. Let's take a look. Oh, by the way, this card, this, this deck that I'm shuffling says she for every single card, but I'm going to replace that with the person. This is not a gendered reading. Okay. Let's take a look here. All right. So we have here the person who yearns, the person who yearns and the person who surprises. Very interesting. Um, so they have here the person who yearns. There may have been here some sense of yearning, longing, or pining for you, Virgo. Even though things have gone, you know, in different directions, or you guys may have gone in a different direction, and this person may not pick up the phone and call, may not text, they may not send an email, but you are on their thoughts, okay? This person still pines for you, longs for you, thinks about you. And that's because, and it makes total sense, that's because they felt it was a deep connection here, companionship. There was a mutual type of respect. You guys were friends. There was a, a, a bond here. Whether they said it or not, there was a bond here that they miss. You know, they miss your energy. It's like your energy and their me meshed very well. You know, let's take a look at what else may not have been said. What else was left unspoken here by Virgo's no contact X? Healing family issues. This person may have, it says, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This person may have had some family issues. They may not have felt connected to their family as much as they were able to connect with you, Virgo, in some way, shape, or form. I feel here that perhaps their family members or friends that felt like family. Okay. Um, they may, they may have, oh, they may have said to this person, oh, you're always so sensitive, you know, or, you know, I can't talk to you about anything because everything, you know, rubs you the wrong way or you, you know, it's like this person may have felt like the black sheep in their family. 
or because of their ability to tune in and be sensitive and receptive. Um, especially I'm getting that here a lot here with this companionship card that they were, you know, hurt easily by other people in their family or their friends. There may have been here a close circle or even with you, Virgo, it's like they were healing a lot of things from their past. And that's why I feel like they were able to go beyond the superficial with you in this connection. I, I couldn't see what card wanted to flip out there, but okay. Let's see what uh, what else uh, what else remained or was left unspoken or unsaid here by Virgo's ex. Belonging. What did I tell you? They didn't feel like they belonged. I told you, black sheep of the family. This person had. Um, they didn't talk about how sometimes they would feel as if they didn't belong or they weren't part of a group. This could have been friends, family, their social network. They always kind of felt like the outcast. Or they felt like they couldn't fit in. They had difficulty fitting in, in either social circles, maybe within their family. This person might have, um, may have friends, but there was a limited circle of people that they would either trust or feel like got them, you know, that understood them. And those are things that maybe they may not have shared with you. They had a lot of conflicts, a lot of conflicts here with that, with this um, emotion of not feeling like they either belonged or that they weren't part of a circle. And again, this could have been for some of them because they they were empaths. This person may have been an empath. And when you are, um, you feel energy in a different way. You know, like I'm clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairs. I mean, you know, I'm in the clairs, but um, the you know, em uh, being empathic is different. It's a different type of energy that comes in in a different way. And that sometimes may seem that the person is reclusive, but it's not because, you know, it's not because they're antisocial. It's because of how they're able to connect with the energy of a room, of people, especially in crowds. Um, yeah, but this person may, may have not felt a, a sense of being part of a group or a family. All right, let's take a look here at this last deck. What else were were things that were left unsaid by Virgo's no contact ex? That may have been the reason, Virgo, why this person felt so at home with you. Why they felt so comfortable. Because in other uh, areas of their life, it was a challenge for them. And this is something they may not have said or spoken to you about. All right, whoop. All right, let's see here. Ace of Cups. This person um, did have a very deep connection with you emotionally. They have the Ace of Cups. Okay, love relationships, happiness, intuition. Cups has a lot to do with water. Water is not only emotions, but is also intuitive. Okay, so they had this sense of deep love deep connection with you whether it was said or unsaid or not spoken or not shared this person did feel a sense of connection of love they fell in love with you they were in love with you they were smitten by you there were a lot of emotions here in regards to you virgo and this person and now that you guys are not together guess what they feel a sense of loss, five of cups. There's a deep rooted type of feeling of loss, of grief, of pain. Some of them may be a little bit depressed or feel a little lonely because again, there's this nurturing that happened here energetically. And if you kind of, it was hard for them to say goodbye. Okay.
It was hard for this person to say goodbye and to kind of leave things as they are right now at this present moment in time. Virgo, I hope that these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. And right here, I have a little gift for you. Long distance Reiki healing just for you. Click on that and have a good one. Bye-bye.